Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So lately, I've had a lot of people come in and buy new rackets because tennis is one of those sports that you're allowed to play. Um, everybody's been coming in and, you know, checking out the prices, buying new equipment. Um, the one question that I keep getting asked is, whoa, rackets are expensive. And I'm like, rackets are expensive? And then I was talking to my buddy Gordon yesterday, who uh, runs Golden State Tennis in San Francisco. Go check him out if you're in San Francisco. He's got a little store over on Geary Street. I'll put a link down below to his store. But uh, hey, Gordon. So he and I were talking yesterday. Um, and he's like, you know, everybody's been complaining about prices. And I'm like, really? That's weird. Because, yeah, people complain about prices here, too. Um, but he and I agreed that in the last 20 to 30 years, racket pricing really hasn't changed much. I mean, if you, if you added inflation um, of, like, let's say 3% a year over 30 years, right, what would that be? Right, think about that. 350, your racket would be 350 dollars. Um, I mean, let's let's look at pro staffs. Like we talked about pro staffs yesterday, and I remember when these were on the market in the late 80s. These were 199, 199 dollars, right? And then when these things came along, 199. So essentially $200. This was what, 99? That was 89, sorry, 89. That's 30 years ago, right? So 90 to 2020, 30 years ago, $200, right? Remember this guy, 199, right? Everything through, man, through until maybe five years ago uh, was kind of $200. I mean, that was the sweet spot in tennis rackets, $200, right? Nobody questioned it. That's what it was. Um, then came Pro Staff, right? RF. We put Fed's name on it, and then we jacked it up a bit, right? Because we got to pay Fed, right? Fed's expensive, right? Because he sells rackets, so this was the first time we saw 229, 239, now 249. And that was only in the last, I wanna say five to six years, right? So fast forward to today, right? We got the Pro Staff non-RF at 229, 239, and then the RF at 249, right? So let's say, Apples to apples, we go pro staff. So let's say a pro staff really only went up about 30 to $40 in 30 years. If we priced in inflation, it should be in the 350 range, $350 range. But we are spoiled here in America, right? Have you ever gone to another, like, place like Italy, France, Japan, even China, where the rackets mostly come from, and gone into a sporting goods store or a tennis shop and took a look at the rackets. Well, I have, and they're in the 300 to $390 range, like US money. Uh, and that's before like their 10% tax that I guess you can get back if you file some paperwork before you come back. But America is the cheapest place that you can get tennis gear, tennis rackets. That's why people come here from other countries and buy rackets. Like go to South America and see how much they are. If they even have them, right? They don't have all this stuff as I hear from my friends in Chile and Brazil, 
right? We are very lucky to have all the types of rackets that we have because uh, they don't out there. Uh, but yeah, going back to pricing, America, I believe, is the cheapest place for tennis rackets. So not only are the rackets cheap, you know, right? The pricing is actually dictated by the manufacturer. So Wilson actually dictates how much we charge. Uh, there's a thing called MAP, M-A-P, Manufacturer's Advertised Price. So every racket that they make has a MAP pricing, meaning you cannot advertise it for less than, let's say, $249. You cannot sell it for under $249 if you're a dealer, right? I mean, if you want to buy it for $249 and let's say you don't like it, you can sell it for whatever you want. But us as a dealer, we have to abide by those rules or else we get suspended, right? And I've been suspended before, right? If they find out we sell it for under $249, uh, we don't get product from Wilson. We don't get product from Babolat for an extended amount of period, two weeks to a month, right? So in order for us to, you know, maintain a retail store, uh, we have to abide by their pricing rule. So we in the tennis industry always make fun of our pricing, right? It, it seems like you know, the, the consumer, you guys, are always the ones winning because you're paying um, a great price, right? We're taking less every year. Um, and I'm guessing so is Wilson, Babolat, Head um, every year because it costs more to make these things. Uh, we kid that the only people making money off of tennis is UPS and FedEx because they got to get it here and they're always increasing the prices, right? Have you shipped anything on FedEx or UPS? One of these rackets shipped within the states, the 48 states will cost you around 20 bucks. That's average, right? Sometimes more, um, depending on where it's going. Um, but I mean, I've seen shipping costs go all the way up to $35. If I have to ship it to some obscure town um, in, uh, let's say Vermont or Pennsylvania or something like that. But yeah, shipping is, is a major part of all this pricing too. We have to absorb that. That's why you see, you know, all the online places sell them for the same price, right? You can't undercut each other, right? That's why me at a store, you know, can't charge less than the online guys. So we just follow, we all just follow what the manufacturers tell us to do, right? Just to make it an even playing field. So guys, I, I, I need your help on this one too. Um, tell me where you're from in the comments and tell me how much a pro staff is in your country and tell me how much a RF pro staff is in your country. I'd be interested to hear um, what everybody chimes in with. I, I want, is it 350? Is it 400? Um, I mean, I've gone to Hong Kong and China, uh, and especially in China, I was surprised because, I mean, I even talked to the guy. I was like, how much for a pro staff? He's like, oh, so it came out to about 350. I was like, really? It's made here. Like, yeah, but it's gotta go. Basically, what he told me was it's got to go to Wilson first and then come back to China. There's no back door out of China into that store. You know, that's called fake racket. OK, but yeah, it's 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 about three fifty to four hundred dollars everywhere. But you guys tell me you guys live there and you guys know. All right. Let me know your pricing. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.